At the Dinosaur Resource Center, we've had a lot of fun making big discoveries. But these discoveries are cool because they're unusual. What most paleontological programming won't show you is the unglamorous side of the job. What we do when we don't make the big finds. Most of a field paleontologist's time is spent walking. Scouting and looking for fossils takes time. When you find scraps of bones, they usually lead nowhere, and when they are traceable, the fossil is almost always just fragmentary and isolated. If it's incomplete and in bad shape, the fossil has little or no scientific value. It's a piece of a theropod metatarsal. It's got the deep grooves on the side for the ligaments and a nice hollow center. It's much too small to be from a T-Rex, but it's quite a bit bigger than a lot of the little raptors that were running around out here. And I've been all over the hillside, and this is all there is. Just a tantalizing little piece to let me know that there are theropods out here. Some days you find them, and other days are just really frustrating. Still, when we find something, each discovery needs to be properly evaluated. Other bones may be in the rock with it, and the only way to find out is to dig around the bone. Well, I was hoping there'd be more to it, but in this case, it looks like what you see is what you get. What we saw on the surface is all there was. It's disappointing, but that's how this goes. You dig a lot more evaluation pits that lead nowhere than, than you get skeletons. So, it's time to pack up and keep scouting. The secret to success in paleontology is persistence. The big finds, the little finds, and all the other amazing fossils are out there in the rocks waiting to be discovered. We don't always come home with something, but even the worst day in the field is still fun. And the views are nice. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video and stop by the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado.